Okay, the reason flip came about is where do we always line up the strong safety we play regular coverage against? On number two, right? Mm -hmm. You'll come up to twins. So when you do that in regular two blue, the corner and the safety on the back side. So now what you've done is you've removed the free safety and the strong safety from playing what you've taught them all the time in your diamond drill and everything else that you do playing run support. Okay? But it's a lot better against the pass than flip is as far as zone concepts because I train them for safeties to read things slower than what the corners were ever taught. Okay? Now, so the reason flip came about was people used to get, now the linebacker has to walk also because there's his number three. So now you're not mm -hmm. playing enough people in the box. So we said, okay, we got to find a way to play something that'll keep everybody in the box. So that's how flip came about. Single width, corners flip over. They're going to play whatever coverage we want them to. In this case, we're, most generally, we just play blue coverage. Okay? They play like the away side of blue because they're not going to have a meat player over here to jump the quick out. So he's going to give a wheel call, look up one, and this guy's slow to it. That was my question. That's that, yeah. The strong safety. Guy. Is now his alignment rule is to make sure he keeps leverage. His alignment is to make sure you keep leverage so on three. Those two corners are playing in and out. On yeah, two a banjo. But the key is we don't call it man because if you run a hitch in the corner, we're going to say if you're going to throw anything, you're going to throw the hitch. Right. Okay. Up the That's correct. And and hopefully maybe the strong safety they hold it long enough because you got to throw over the top of two people. He can get underneath that because he's he's getting himself into it. Well, his job <coughs> against the one back now is to keep leverage on number three. He is swing deep at three because you're playing blue, so his rule like he does, he's on the read side, he's swing deep at three like he's in a regular blue coverage. Except he's not going out and lined up on number two because it's flip coverage. Okay? What flip coverage now allows you to do is your linebacker doesn't have to walk out because why? I'm lining up in a position to keep leverage, but I'm taking away the hot of three. Okay? So now the linebackers can stay in the box. Because the free safety eliminated him, and his rule is the vertical number three. Strong safety, swing deep at three. So basically, it's like raw coverage when you're getting one back. Whether that guy is a slot or a tight end trips, okay, which is the only time you'd have flip, okay, because if it's tight end trips where it's a wide out back here, you don't have flip coverage in the first place. Now, what that turns us back in here is the solo. So the wig safety that knows it's because once we check flip over, flip becomes a coverage. Right. Okay? So flip becomes a coverage is basically like solo on the back side. And here we are. Well now guess what we have? Whether this guy's a tight end or a wide out, yeah. we now have our safeties in the diamond drill progression. Yeah. Outside leverage, okay, like that. with an out. That's why flip came about. First down, flip's a lot better call versus 12 personnel or even 11 if they're going to give us a lot. Now, we don't get much trips, you know, single width trips from people. We either get spread or we get tray open. And that right there really is not much different than what we've been doing a whole bunch. That's split bronco for us or tight bronco. Um, we, you know, that guy on the back there had that tight end man to man. Now, where people, if they're going to attack us, will probably they will probably try to do is come back here with speed option and stuff because this guy they know this guy's in man, but that's how we protect him. We know it, then the first answer is going to be we're going to slam back there. Whether we cross the face or we're just taking all four. Makes no difference. But our offense hates it because now you don't have speed option, at least as far as you got a force player blocking a guy that has pitch. <clears throat> and you got an alley player also because the way our offense blocks, even in zone, you go here, they're coming here, but they don't have that guy. Yeah. And you always got a pitch player. He's not walked out on number two where he can't be stopped. I can stop, Chuck. We'll come back. Keep going. So does that, that free safety play any different versus three wide receiver trips versus tight end trips? You mean with the well, guys here not. or there? Yeah, yeah, whether he's a slot or... No, he's just vertical at three. He's still vertical at three. No, just just versus the tight end. It's easier to line up there. If it's wider, if it's wider, see the biggest thing is I don't want him to walk very far because you really need him to get back here on the back side. Yeah. Now here's a great call with this if they were tight end trips and you're gonna play flip. For me, is scooped. I call it with the front call versus eleven personnel. So what am I gonna do? Slide them backers over the tight end. Oh, 
automatically. Now they're going to do it automatically, so you're creating a 4-3. Now, again, what is the weakness? It's always been. The weakness is the backside cutback, right? But again, where, where's my free safety? That's what he does on a daily basis. Right. So on a daily basis, his ass is running. He is, and I'm telling you, if you shovel him as hard as I do, I can make the cutback zone play at underneath two yards as long as he'll make the tackle all the time. The other thing is you can't get this guy far enough out where he can't react back to things, too. And why we don't get a lot of this tight end trips is the same thing I just told you about flipping. People don't like to give us a field side, split inside, because of dogs. How does this hold up against the bubbles? Do you see a shitload of bubbles? This is not as good against bubbles as the other look that we get. We don't get a lot of bubbles. Our regular coverage formation, because the strong safety always plays outside leverage on number two, mm -hmm. you, you're not, you you're, your betting man is not, not real good. In fact, uh, in the first two series against East Carolina, they tried to run the motion across the run the bubble and the ta strong safety tackling for an eight-yard loss. But again, we didn't have to work on all the formations they did, so what do I work on? Any time the motion across, if he stayed outside, it was bubble. If he when he crossed, went back across, and you get ready for number one run of smash. That's how well I, that's how well I knew East Carolina. I mean, we knew by how they motioned what they were going to do when they motioned. If a tight end motion is going to be run, if a wide receiver motion is going to be passed. Yeah, they put, if they put eye back with the tight end back there, they're going to run a trap option. They were going to never have to hand it off the tight end. It's going to be a quarterback pitch play. Mm. Two times in 11 games, they handed off the tight end. We, so we didn't slide. Against them, we didn't, we didn't slide to that stuff because it was all going to be next. I mean, we can handle one back. Basically, it was going to be one back option to tighten. So we handle one back option to tighten set all the, all the time. Yeah. It's when you're getting two guys over there. So flip is you really. That's a way for us to play a formation and keep our guys yeah, in the box. You take keep it, your, yeah, you're taking one of those guys out. I mean, you're playing it like Robert. <laughs> I got a 5'9", 170-pound guy. Instead of him back here on the tight end playing solo and yeah. have to play the run, I get my 200 five pound guy and my free safety still running the alley. Mm -hmm. If I think it's a pass and I like all myself where I walk people out and play two blue solo. Mm -hmm. I like flip to get people when he gets one back back in the box. That was almost our base defense. I mean what we almost yeah. versus one. Now now the yeah, kicker except, is but that was the same. The kicker is yeah, though except they got the free safety is the balance look. Our free safety was yeah, he's been back. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't play, no as aggressive as theirs, Lord, no. No, 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 but the teaching. kicker is when they're in a balance set. Mm -hmm. Difference in your man call because flip was just whatever we're going to do to this. Yeah. Whereas once you, you get back balanced, yeah. we're playing two blue. Right. And yeah. that's, that's again, the, the flexibility of the five defensive back system. How's it look versus straight twins? Flip? Two back, two back twins. Pretty good. You bring this strong safety to Well, him. here's what I like. Inside you can, you can bring him. You bring him inside. Not necessarily. You have to walk him and slide up in the box. So you know where people used to bring them twins when you see people play old robber coverage. Yeah. Because guys clear out here, they like that, and then they're in the yeah. ISO. Well, yeah. with flips, and they don't like that stuff anymore. Because now your linebackers. The biggest thing now is what do you have to be able to do? Free safety's got to come back here and give you a, a sky or you know a banjo right. call. Uh -huh. You got to be able to have. He's got to be able to help show up back here on the back side of run support. How's, how would that work when you're just in a sky out, off the read side there, Gary? How's the path? No, back off the read side. Yeah. How does it transpire your coverage? What, what do you well, do? here, because we're in zero, flip. We're in, well, if he says sky, we play it like cover two, like this is a weak safety in a corner. Okay. Right? If he says man, then if we played fiddle, then he'd have him He'd have him up the field. He'd have him anything outside. Sam's still working off of fit two. Yeah. When the weak safety's dropping? He's your outside dropper. Yes. He probably will never get with until he's challenged. He has no. He has nothing to threaten his outside, so he's not going to cover grass. He right. just prompt, he's going to wait for crossing routes, really, unless something takes him outside. Unless you get a flare, or something. Yeah. And then he swing deep a two, which is what in sky. That's what he is in the backside <coughs> cover two. He's swing deep a two. Okay. You can play five back there too. Could. If you kept to the front. I mean, to the front side of the court. Oh yeah, you can play a hard corner with a yeah. hard corner with a sink. With the safety and a half. It'll be a you just, you just got the only thing, but the way you play it, you know, with two to the flat, 
and curl because you play that, that safety aggressive on the curl. So I corners will never play it that hard because they don't. Right. They, they don't. I'm telling you right now, we tell them to flat foot, and they always start in the back though. Right. Even in flip covers in blue, they don't flat. So it'd be almost just as good for you to make some type of in and out call right there with the corner. A lot of ways. The difference is, I, I, difference is, is I, when it, the hitch and corner are not allowed, making the, the inside corner, corner right. have to play the corner around right. so you send it help. Yeah. People will not live by just with throwing the hitch all day long. Right. At least I've never been a part of it. Yes, sir. Right. When you're getting the sprint out and you're playing two read over here, okay, he's coming hard. He's just reading the window off him. If he gets it pulled up, he'll come inside. Yeah. Doing that. Now he's taking the spot of three. Pulling the chain. Yeah. Pulling the chain. So now he's. A hey, three vertical uh, wall middle. Yep. It would, but he's, and now, what would be your what weak safety rule? Well, he's just inside C2. half back there, so he's just going to make sure. Never cross the hash. Yes. Well, that's, no, the, that's, that's the weak safety. safety. That's this guy's going to squeeze one he on the boot. Yeah, he's going to do just like he's this. He's going to squeeze one on the boot. Yep. Okay. This guy comes across, he'd have one on the boot. If the guy stayed in with the sprint out, then he would, he would cover grass and sink back mm -hmm. through the middle of it. Exactly. Have you ever sent them both? Yeah, and man coverage. When they both yeah. have the backs, yeah, they both have both the backs, come. and shoot, they both come and work. Remember when we were playing against Akron? Well, when we were in against Akron, we were in. Uh, were we in Blitz or were we in? We were having a hell of a time with that sprint against Akron. Who could put it up? I'll tell you one thing, it'll get you. We were in Ram and Lion, I think, too, weren't we? Were we in Ram and Lion? One time we got out. Was that when they got outside of West that time coming off? I know something. Most of the time, they're they're off. Off. what they go, they're going to do is they're going to turn back on us because they run so much smoke draw. They turn back and they take a step and run the draw. We play the net, we play the end underneath always. So when you get to turn back, he's playing underneath. So they're going to have him blocked. They're going to get him. Yeah. So we're going to wrap the linebacker like we've been playing in Portland State of Pittsburgh for the conference title. They're one of their favorite plays was quarterback sweep. So we run double smoke and both linebackers had the backs. She would end up with the smoke and again. You always got to be careful against us if you want to sprint out because yeah, of the, of the eight-man front kick bill is a fair bill of bringing that guy off the edge. <coughs> is there ever a time that Mike or the Sam is going to have drag boot pickup? Well, we do teach that out of one back, uh -huh. but the problem is, is the swing deep out the back end. So right. it just depends on whether they like to do that or not. If I've always do, taught the front side guy's going to get up and run. The back side guy got a chance to pick it up. Well, for us, See, they send him no, we side. actually we send him on deal. Actually, as he side, steps up, yeah. he's going to try to come back here the best he can, and he's going to wheel with him on the run. Oh, the front so, side guy, okay. So if you're in one back out here, they send him. It's a run. Yeah, and and they play action to do here. He's going to step up, then we want to wheel, wheel and this guy's going to start, go. and then he's going to okay. try to pull it up. Right. You know, because we're always playing a robber, we're always usually having somebody it's trying somebody to let somebody that look and wait and play for him anyway, hopefully. And see, that's what happens with, you know, like our offense runs robber beaters. Okay, you're going to run number two out of there? Yeah. But you know what the problem with that is? Is now, if, if you play any kind of man concept, now the guy has a tight end, then, then you're, you're, you're just you're stuck in the mud with it. And that's what happened to our offense in the scrimmage on practice four. We're playing zone, and they're they're crop. crossing, yeah. taking the wide receiver coming inside. Right. He's the crosser and all that. Right. Well, that all looks good and fine until you play man coverage. Because really? really? then, when you're man coverage, everybody has them anyway. Probably. Uh, right, well, would they be chasing from an outside position on that drag? The weak safety? Yeah, he's he going to have no choice. choice. He has no choice because that's where he had to line up. That's tough. I mean, that's just one yeah, of but, he's a, but you know what it is? That's also a tough throw because the quarterback's running, he's running, and there's somebody close. It's an easier throw when you don't have anybody around him. There's a nine without banana peppers. No, there's a nine without banana peppers. You still got you got him lined up with three by three on the side here. And man, but yeah, he'll move up to a situation like that. Late, try to show a blue look. Uh, you got to mark which ones have the peppers. So you're hurting you with There's one with you peppers. Cheat him up. Yeah, well, we just call man or three. Well, you don't want yeah, peppers, we'll right? To, well, we get up to eight. There you go. Really, oh, you just call some type of three deep over there. Three yeah. or, a, or a man freaking you something where you've got a man Four. got him up there better. Or slant that way. Right. See, again, for me, when you don't count the front and the coverage together. Uh oh. Uh, this looks 
Excellent. Every Thursday, right, Chuck? Wednesday. 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 Pickle for uh, Willie and uh, Jim. What'd you just get bread? Jim? Can't have bread. What'd you get? That sandwich, man. Can't you can't take the bread off. Thank you, you can't sir. eat meat neither, can you? Oh, you can't Fridays. eat. Oh, just so. Did they give you any napkins, Chucky? No. I got some up there. Oh, bass. I got some right here. <laughs> oh. I'm Methodist by trade and Mormon by knowledge. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, the, what's, what's like the uh, character of TCU? Pretty conservative, small school, pretty quiet. Small rich. A lot of kids got money, huh? They all got money? About 7,000. Rich. Napkin. Let me tell you how rich. <laughs> Cost 25 napkin for somebody down there. Go to school there. My wife didn't even want to go on campus the way oh the girls go. Really? Here's, here's a frat guy last spring break. Parents went on vacation. Okay? So he, he takes, as one of our players is in the frat, he takes, he, he calls their, their pilot of their private jet. His parents' private jet? Yeah. Because they didn't take it. And he schedules, he takes 12 frat brothers to their house in Jamaica. He gets back, he gets grounded, so they take his uh, his forty thousand dollar, forty five thousand dollar BMW away from him for a month. That was his penalty. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't pissed. He spent six thousand dollars on fuel going to Jamaica and back, and used their house and their servants and everything else. They're just pissed off. He didn't tell him. <laughs> I told my wife she doesn't shouldn't be nice to me. That I'm just we're going to stop all this, and I'm just going to marry money and acquire love. <laughs> all right, so where are we? We all right with that? Everybody kind of getting a feeling for it? Um, worst comes to worst, we can run Husker until we figure the freaking thing out. That's a lot of things. Okay. And the biggest specific reason for this? See the players, right? Type of players. Oh. We need to hey, Akron beat Navy this year, and we beat Akron, so we're better than Navy. Uh, I think you are. Okay, you right, well, hold on a second. Let us just try to call and see what you, some of the okay. stuff you got, okay? okay? Got it. All right. That looks to me like you're playing uh, Two Sky. <coughs> Would that be correct? Yep. See how slow he is? I mean, slow going anywhere, right? Will he draw? He not go anywhere until the back's cleared. Yeah. Should that be a hard joint? Let's see. Will you call this next one? Mm -hmm. What's he oh, we got no Not going to get the end zone, because I just, just this, did this for covers, okay. covers. I was telling you about him running, see how this guy saw it and sank with it. Don't, don't want him to do this, but because they're going to come back with this guy. Well, here he comes, right here. What should the corner have done with that? As soon as he heard wheel, he needed to look right to two and come off on it. Okay. Other guy should, he's doing just what he should do. Yeah, I'll right like, to the pole. Yeah, just like, I'd like to him to take the goal point right here. Yeah, yeah, he's going a little How fast right. do you figure he is? This guy? That don't look real fast. <laughs> Jeremy's is pretty, he's, a, he's at least no better than 4 7 at best. Because you know, right. our guys running there, you know, it's going to be, you know, a free safety? That's for shot. That's where you want to play Carlos. Would that there, Sam just be hauling ass with that I back out, out, out there, there, Gary? No, no, I won't say that. What, what's he doing? What this do guy needs to pull the chain. We don't, want, drop back, we don't so want to go McDade, wall. Jermaine, Carlos. He starts that way, then he needs to work back here. Okay. Starting to zone off on it. We don't get Jermaine, I agree. We ought to move Carlos there. It comes just no, stay with it. Blue. This is 
Oh, you don't play quarter for that. Hey, you bail. Oh, 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 you bail. Now this is a pretty good draw, job of man-to-man -man clue driving back. You can see it's kind of muddy though. Mm -hmm. Inside release by number two there with a the strong safety. He trying to get his hands on him pretty good. Yeah, that's the difference between two and blue for us. Mm -hmm. Number one, we're going to try to beat on him more. Be in blue. blue. In blue. All right. Got me call that. What's the technique on the bottom with the corner? You're playing. Uh, B call also means you're going to beat. Cover us five on the or cover five on the bottom. Yeah. He just kind of. Robert Cobb. He, he going three shuffle, steps. He needs like shuffle three. Down. He needs to shuffle down and hit him, but the guy, the guy funnels himself. Right, uh, Gary, me call me, you're going to hit that guy hard, too, man. Be physical, and we're going to handle any quick, and if the guy tries to run it out, up to us and out, we're going to jump him. That's what the me means. Corner, you don't have to worry about a quick out. Mm -hmm. I got it. How about a wheel? Wheel is called right now, and the corner comes off, and the strong safety's in the curl. Okay. We don't run with a wheel call, uh, with, a, with a wheel. That strong safety you have is never running. I'm talking about like a. Uh, I'm talking about a. Uh, uh -huh. with two flare. Never running with number a flare. two on the wheel. Well, he will. No, you talking about up, but not with a wheel. He's when he what he calls a flare wheel is the, the flare uh, like a bubble, off, huh? a bubble yeah. swing. It's like a yeah, swing, 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 swing yeah. pass. Yeah. Yeah. If, if if number three would swing out through, or like on the weak side, if you swing out through and run up like in a sky alignment, you would run with the wheel. Swing deep to two. So in five, the corner has swing deep with two? That's correct. Anytime you're the flat guy, that's correct. And in blue, the strong safety has swing deep with two. Yeah. Three. Yeah, that's correct. Now, again, see, a pretty nice job here of not getting too fast, crossed over, but watching him be able to drive back down on it. Yeah. Gives an in call at the top. We get a, we didn't get anything out quick, so the corner can sink and help play the outside. This is Navy Cups, Coach. Okay. So we're playing blue at the top, five at the bottom, huh? Is this game? Yeah, this is against, uh, well, it's cut up a lot of games, but this is going over right here. I had to, I had to bring it something that gave Chuck some old memories. Chuck doesn't remember any of those years. Actually, he is my rap. probably retired. Okay, now, okay, what do you got? It's 3D400. This guy at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like 3D, 4 under here. It looks like 3, but it's going to be, watch to see what he does first. 2 sky. Two sky. Oh, two sky. Yeah, so basically ends up being covered 2 across two the board. Sky. Well, and probably the call was 25 sky. Right. Here. They came out in eye bats. Okay. A couple of things here, Gary. You got a kind of a short split here by X. Okay? So let your sky guy drop down. Okay? If he wants to turn his back to him. Get probably more on the line of scrimmage. More on the line of scrimmage because you don't want that guy to be able to come in and dig it out. And with that tight split, I'd probably widen him out so I had I would, I would turn him. I'd get right back bumped up into him so that I couldn't get. Right, I get my hands on him and yeah. hold him off and be able to play. All right. Nice job on, on the back side right there. That's you know we call a lot of times we call that a half man technique. This backside corner, mm -hmm. you know, you go on the sky side. All right, if he gets a post, he's inside of it all the way. Post all day. All right, he gets a dig, he's squeezing it hard, right? Yep. Okay. He gets kind of a diagonal going across. He's still following it, right? It works up, and he's going to squeeze it. Yes. Yeah. Well, what did, is something coming back the other way? Does he zone off then? Uh, usually your sky player helps it, but you got to remember most of the time these two guys, because of the way we do it, are handling those things right. because of the robber concept. This is, again, I was telling you about technique-wise with the free safety. This guy probably played the best I ever had. You know how the other free safety backed up? The other free safety runs 4-4. This one runs 4-7. And watch how slow he, because he tried to do it exactly what you told him. Mm -hmm. One more time, I want to see the corner at the top. Now this is, this guy is Sean started. Andrews. Right. He, as a freshman, he led the nation interception here with this first year. We took this back again. He had nine because they threw at him all the time. Yeah, he's certainly not one by seven like when we went no. over the alignments. So he's no, he's more like one by nine, which is where two by ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
used to say back in those days, we used to give it, it used to be a one by seven to nine, depending on, uh, uh, well, what you thought. Was the better the, the guy feels comfortable with the position, the more he moves up. A young player doesn't play very tight. Hey, Gary, on the last play? Yes, sir. On the, uh, on the bottom here? Your inside linebacker is Wallen too, and he it's full back here now. He's getting a bunch of width. When does he yeah, just let him go? Tommy, at what point? You know, now I wasn't the coordinator here. Tommy, the way Tommy coached linebackers, they just back up. He did. He never mm -hmm. hard walled things. Okay. Like we did at Utah State and like we do now. And they we did it in New Mexico and, and at TCU. Mm -hmm. Okay. Blue five. Who told you it was blue as opposed to uh, corn bale? Corn or corn bale? Couldn't he bail? Could, could he bail and uh, he would start and the other thing they would have told me is what the strong safety did because in cover two, as soon as pass, it was passed, he went to the flat right now and blue would hang and hit him in the mouth. Dang. And no more. Short smoke, two blue solos, so you got a smoke with a solo call on the backside, two at the top. Again, you see why you don't want two running with swing deep at two on the read side? Yeah. So you can see can't these guys are hardly standing up. It's Let's see the corner one more time. Okay. <clears throat> He got a wheel call. Watch him here. Because after mm -hmm. the first early plays, it starts seeing a little yeah. bit better. How's the wife? <laughs> How's her back, coach? Back's kind of, I think she's past that part. Mm -hmm. uh, she's now where she's mm -hmm. kicked her leg out and raised and yeah. sat and bending and all that. Oh. I just think she's supposed to be out jogging. Oh, there's that. <laughs> Again, he's just sitting on him because Blue's like played the same as Robert, plays cover two. Uh -huh. Nice break. Communist. Uh, You're the United States Navy. They can't call that against you. Mm -hmm. You got five on the bottom. Oh, two. I almost got it. Go. Run for it. Yeah. Two five. Two five. Again, the key. Well, I think it's. The yeah, idea is key then too is to make sure you run through the guy when they hit you going. Right. You're staying two five here because you you know you beat them with six in the box, right? Yeah, yeah and it's probably a pass down. Probably a pass down is probably second and ten or third and ten or something where you're not having to check sky back here. I don't know why this guy threw this pass. Is it something else coaching those guys at Navy? Or are they just you know, do everything, run through a wall for you, and tell them one They time. are, but it's really your best players are your prep school guys, the guys that scored 980, not your guys that scored 1,200. Really? Just because they're better athleticism usually? And yeah, it's always, it's always like that. Right. Uh, Zingo was one of those guys. Mm -hmm. When I first went to Cornell, it amazed me. You tell them all the back. Pedal and turn to their left. You still have about four or five of them turning to their right. I mean, do the same. Here's a pretty good example again on the back side when the ball goes away. Don't go until you know with the sake you see the ball goes. You know, you don't get it, you don't take read steps. I mean, I'm coaching them to be as slow as they can. Mm -hmm. Here's again, don't get any deeper than three yards. And really, this guy didn't have to be that wide. You said you got a little too deep. Yeah, no, I, it's pretty, it's not bad right here where he's at. About three yards, see where he stops and collisions and pull back? If he goes any farther than that, then you've got to see him. Anyway, we, let's get out of the Villanova game. I did when I went to Mexico. I went clear through the whole coverage thing and took out all teaching because I was going to have to go by myself to New Mexico. And so I was going to have to have something to show 
They stopped 41 on uh, Pittsburgh last year, the opening game. Uh, here's a call for you. You asked about goal line, Chuck. Uh -huh. Here's zero fiddle double. Fiddle over here. Safety line is lined up in a force position, but he has called double to the corner. It's told him because this guy was a 6'5 wide receiver. Uh -huh. He told him now in double to move outside leverage. I was going to help double the inside, so they tried to throw the fade. The guy jumps to the outside. The corner does. He can't get out there, see, and he had to move an inside release, and we end up getting a pick down on the goal line. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Let's go for it. Okay, Notre Dame, we're in a flip call here. Okay, so there yeah, there he comes down. Okay. Corners okay. over and flip. They're playing it man style, with a show them like blue. The reason I know it's man because look at the corner. Right. Okay, we've got a fiddle call back here, so we got a fiddle on the tight end. In this ball game, this free safety is going to make 14 tackles. And you so can the see whole call again is what? Coverage wise? Uh, zero fiddle tough. Tough yeah. telling us to move up tighter. And so it's not really a flip call, the zero. Well, zero is split, but it's in man principles, yes. Right. Want a hard joint out of here out of the sand? Let's build it. Yeah, let's see it. Should. You're running zero fiddle with a slide. The strong safety would be would have made the slide call. Yeah, and he'd be right the here before the snap. And the mic would have been moved right here, and Sam's over. Right. Bump to this day still doesn't play slide. Bump and Brent, neither of them play slide. Now, they play what they call a Mustang, which they cut them with, but they don't make a call from the secondary or anything else. I thought tough was something else. Tells the safeties to move up. Move uh, inside, right? In a harder alignment. Instead of three by seven, maybe three by three? Yeah. You play it with a man call. You could play it with a zone if you wanted to. Okay, we get flanker. Looks like you're in, in, uh, well, you're in some kind of four three down here. Well, what we went to is a heavy look here. That heavy look, goal line look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only we're only using one corner. Oof. <laughs> this is a great job of bail here. So this is two blue. What's it? Uh, uh, this looks like zero. It looks like just plain zero fiddle with a tough call. So everybody's up with the safeties. First down. Watch now. This is a great bail here. We'll get back, needs to get back over the top. Now, this is one of the reasons why we went to like Bale and Navy, because watch the guy in the off man here, watch how he gets beat. Okay, he stops his feet. Mm -hmm. Now, see, Brian Norwood, who just went to Texas Tech, coached the corners, and he did a really good job of them. But, I mean, we could play Bale all day long, but you put those guys in the off man where they had to turn and transition. Just really the only thing we got hurt with on bail this year, Willie, was uh, quick slants, right? Right. And all the flip here again. Here us, so. Yeah, we're zero. I think we might even have a lot. I don't know if this guy's coming in line. I think it's just zero fiddle tough again. Again, here's the thing about fiddle, or even flip, Chuck. Okay. Strong safety, let's say he makes a slide, and even if he doesn't, they flipped over. This strong safety comes over here and lines up like his normal cover two alignment. He lines up on number two, so they don't think they can throw bubbles and everything. Right before the snap, he moves. He moves. See how he moves right inside leg. Yep. Now all of a sudden, you had him blocked with a stock, and now you don't have a stock, and so there's nobody for to block him to help on the pitch. Backside solo guy, a little bit of trouble here. It's a zero fiddle press again. Okay, here, here's here's the best. And this is the only reason I'm going to watch them. We can go out. Watch this guy at single receiver, and he's in zero bell. Watch the guy run slow. Watch him. He goes outside. He's going to go outside, he's going to go inside. He cut that row. And, this, and then he's going to cut him on. Now watch him push him in the back. He never ever let him get into full, he never let him ever get into really full speed. 
Anyway, that's, that's what I want to see. I want you to swatch out the new. Okay. This one, let's, you want to go to two combinations, you want to go to dogs. We got both of them sitting here. Let's go to dogs since we have a big, big dog. Nobody at the post, nobody at the post 114 times and only one touchdown. Obviously the answer would be, we'd hope there would be no touchdowns. Boo, don't look good against dogs. White dogs, the corners coming over, playing zero cover. So this is one nice thing about the Avid system. You guys see, see field G A, mm -hmm. white dog B, and then we're playing zero bail. So when you guys make your cut ups, Gary, do you just every everything go on there, or just the ones you want to teach from? No, this is everything. These everything. these these things have everything on them. Okay. I haven't made any of those yet. This one's got every. White dogs B, and then you're going to get white dogs A or so white dogs lion. Or but all the white dogs are together? Okay. Unless the computer screwed it up. <laughs> There's been nothing taken off of this deal. So this Same is to get a nice a. job of not showing, this white dog's B. Run, run through the B gap. And this is why 14, watch 14 how quick he is. It's, That guy's a big man now. How big is he? The quarterback's 250. No, I mean 14. Uh, he's 6'4", oh. but he played at 240, but he's at about 263 now. And how fast would you say he is? 4'6". How fast is Allsbury to run, Jim? He's at 4'6". Pike? 4'6". Hmm. <clears throat> now, this corner at the bottom, I told you going in this game plan, if a line, if a wide receiver lined it up in a wing, we would banjo the corner and the pre would banjo the tight end and the wide out, and whoever had the back had the back. But if, if the wide out started outside, because they're going to do a lot of motion in with angle stuffs, two safeties had the banjo on the pullback and the tight end, just like I showed you in wide dogs on the board, and the corner's going to supposed to stay with it all the way. Well the problem is this corner didn't practice at all. So if you're getting a bunch look, in other words, what you're saying, that's yeah. how you do it. You keep the banjo, corner just fights through all of it to this guy. Now the nice thing is banjo looks, it turns into a zone look anyway, but what we wanted to happen was this guy to stay with him, and the free and the weak would have had a banjo, which you can see if you, let's run back here, they, you can hear them talking here, you can see them talking here. They got a banjo, they got the tight end, and, and the, this is number 14, this is a wide receiver. Is this a wide smoke, right? Yeah, this is wide dogs. Wide dog. <coughs> Well, this should have happened. He should have stayed with him. Reggie should have had the tight end, cheated over late, and Curtis has first back out because they had a banjo. What we needed the corner to do is just stay with this guy. Because mm -hmm. we'd watch, they didn't, because this guy always went across, they never kept crossing across the field to go to the middle formation and work back out. If that tight end runs a corner, you're just a little weak on it. Well, he, you're going to have, he needs to get it over faster. Just like he's doing. Yeah. You know, I don't know if he read eyes. Throw, you know, he starts to break and then he comes <clears> back. <throat> and that's why he will not get drafted. He tackled terrible this year. Whoops. What was the call? In the middle of the field now, you're not going to call wide? No, this this was a mistake on my part. They just know to, they just knew it was closer, so they, they, can't, they okay. considered this wide because on the goal post. Again, they cut him quick, but free safety has, weak safety has number, has the tight end, free safety has number two. Because right. we're always going to give the remaining linebacker the back so he can play the run. And at the top, on your bell technique, and he's in man with no help. 
you don't mind this guy getting outside leverage with that much boundary over there. I wish I wish he would man he would man flip this and oh okay like this one down here did right. This is Shannon Brazil, coach. Forty one. This walk on linebacker here that we ended up putting on scholarship. Forty eight. Yeah. Talk to me about the, the fit. Now the end coming down here. Over here on this side. Yeah. What's he gonna do? Well, the guy turned down him, so he's gonna squeeze him. But again, the other thing he can do is what? Come on, it. He can go in and come. He's oh. got a freeze, so he can go in ahead and come on and eat. You got a linebacker. Got a linebacker, linebacker yeah, too, yeah right? which is the problem that you have on a, on a uh, anytime something like this happens. See, they're they're again, they have no idea. They have no idea. It's it's a blitz. That's the thing, the thing you said before is you can call it where you get your nose. Where you can loop around. You can do all kinds of things not to create that problem. That's why on a split inside, it's not always bad. You could also drop that guy because he's he's an extra guy anyway at pass shows. They're going to three-way this because they're in a bunch. It's kind of basically what three-way means we're going to zone it off. They had us picked a little bit on the back side back here. He needed to know the tight split and get out of the way of it. Luckily, you'll see here it's that's not he was expecting, I think, tight end. Young quarterback was not looking. He should have been looking out here fast. So is your three way executed correctly at the top? Yeah, because the guy ends up it's 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 a very fine line. I can't really say much to him because of, of what the guy's protecting. But it really, would you like to have been, he would have had him, and this guy would go ahead and take this right here. Right. Here we caught him blitzing, they tried to run the option. Well, they run this little fumble rooski play. <laughs> Pirates. That guy's good now. 14. Kickoff return and punt return. We couldn't tackle. Came from some junior college, Mississippi. Now, again, going by man banjo rules going to this ball game, we decided we is a wing, so the weak safety in the corner is supposed to banjo this. Linebacker, you can see him cheat. He has the back. Mm -hmm. you know, we've got dogs called, and luckily we hit the guy so he can't get the ball off. He can't find who's open, but watch. Corner doesn't play part of it. Here comes, here's the banjo. Okay? Weak safety held up his side of the deal on the banjo. Corner needs to take the tight end. See, well, linebacker, what's linebacker? He has who he's supposed to have. Mm -hmm. Luckily, Go back to your call. Huh? Go back to the call a second. Field G aim. It looks probably had a blast on it. Uh, no, because the tight end's at the bottom. Probably thinks he's a wing. Does he get some kind of wing adjustment there? Yeah, we did some of it. I don't know the fact. It's not on the call, though. Could be just Aaron. Would you ever consider uh, checking three way there with that bunch set? Tight yes, end, tight split. And kind of like that. checking cover five. Kind of like checking squats and has over there viewing the zone. Should the tackle on the bottom, <clears throat> should he be cross facing this guard with the aim on the shade? Or is he in a G? He's in a G. Should he, he, should he should cross, the cross face. face? Yes. Yeah, and that's the whole thing about pressure. As you can see him talk, mm -hmm. they didn't have a banjo. He had the tight end, he had the fullback mm -hmm. and wide dogs. As soon as the bat, as soon as he started motion, see they went to a banjo, banjo. here. Because you got dogs at the top. Beautiful. Oof. Now what I don't like about this, I didn't like this guy's angle. 
his angle is two yards outside the tailback because he's the pitch player because he's coming on a smoke. But when this guy motions over, what he should have did is widen himself so he could keep a good leverage. Uh -huh. now, with the near back, now is he going to go two yards outside the near back? Yeah, well, it still should be the deepest should still be the deepest guy, but the aiming point needs to make sure that he can keep contained. That is, without seeing any more and coaching too much in it. They want to get more than three yards up the field. Exactly. Now here, now because it's a smoke and he has the banjo. See, he's the smoke, so he knows he's a pitch. He's actually the quarterback player also, to because it gets pitched early, mm -hmm. he reacts. Right. That was a, that was a critical game because. This was, they just scored to make it 14 to 21. They kicked an onside kick and got it. And that was a third and one call. Now the whole thing going back to what you said, Coach Darnell, every time in third and short, 95% they went speed option. Again, see, they tried to swoop it and they, they did not account for the guy But Again, he, I would really like this. Now, this is a wide dog's call. I would really like this if this guy would start even a little, maybe a little bit deeper. He's trying to give a blue look, mm -hmm. but he could have given a five look, so then there was no chance of the guy throwing a fade, right. knowing he had the back. Because in this ball game, in this ball game, he actually doesn't have. He has this guy up here. We said the back, whoever the linebacker wasn't going, if they gave a split backs, had the dog to his side. See how they're talking? Mm -hmm. Now here's going to come that vertical and dig, which vertical and dig is very good against Robert, but it's not real good against man coverage. Main max protected. See, this is 11 personnel. There's a tight end in the backfield. You can see they're a little bit bigger than we are. Call was. Still, all of these are field G aim or field aim, wide dogs B, zero press here. This was a pick and they didn't give it to us. See, he didn't read this as zone. He, he thought it was man. I mean, he thought it was zone. And the corner steps up. You'll see on the end zone, we caught it first and they, didn't, they said it was simultaneous. His ass didn't catch any of it. Now we had a field name, so we shouldn't be crossing the face. Should be in a shade, come back. What do you got here now? Uh, we have white dogs. Field name. Field name, white dogs B. Again, we go back to 111 passes completed under five yards because you're getting into a lot of you're getting into a lot of slants if you're in blitz. Two back again. If this guy will show a little bit better half, and he has the, they've got a banjo, and he's got the fullback, and him and the free. His remaining linebacker has the tailback. They don't know it's they don't know this is a car that looks like two five. It looked like two five right off the bat, and you never know. Let's look at the press technique at the bottom. Not bad. Good open step and a good jam with his hand. The other thing with dogs you gotta understand, you know, when you play man, you're bringing four from the side, especially two back. A whole bunch of other people are showing up because they got two of those guys. All right. Not real good to run outside zone into uh, smoke. See, Russell does a great job down here because he don't he don't give it away to the last moment. And you know, you look at this. What do you think it looks like? I mean, could have been blue down here because you know we're going to bail out of it. So it's either going to be blue up here and it could be blue or five at the top. You don't have any idea, and all of a sudden it turns into white dogs. Whoops.
That's his fault. This is all his fault right here. And why? You should move over where you can come. Yeah, I mean, a life of success, my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. You don't think they're have a hard day? Really, I don't like that the weed safety did a whole lot either. I wish he would have started back. I don't know when the camera angle picked it up. Has it dropped to or not? They had us a little bit here. One more time. <coughs> Weak safety. Danger. This is a lot better, would have been a lot better call if we were in this kind of personnel, if we used zone fire instead of zone blip, instead of zone man. Been better to bring dogs from the field and run like an army, step the end outside and drop them than running true man with it because they got the capabilities of, of mass protection and turn it into a one-man route. Well, the, back, the bottom linebacker here, he's got the tailback, tailback. right? Correct. Weak safety in the... In the uh, well, they got it. They, these two got the corner. The corner just has a man. And he has the full, right? Yeah. Problem is, see, he's not... He's not hard focus. Not so much as what they did as how we did it. One more time. Get thrown catch. Say they're running this route here, and you just in, say you're in uh, two blue. Yep. Okay. They would switch that. Yep, he'd be back here. Because he went deeper, the linebacker's going to run under. The corner's going to be late because the guy goes five yards, so he's going to hold off the void route. And the safety's going to get over the top. He's going to go to one. How good of players does UTEP have? I tell you what, they're they're probably one of the more physical teams we played against. Mm -hmm. They were ranked. They were ranked in the athletes? top 15. They have their wide receivers were probably in the top four people we played. You know, and they've always had athletes. The problem been has always been any continuity because they were rooted JC guys and what they've done since Coach Stoll came to AD and, and Coach Bailey they've gone back and recruiting high school guys. And with the 85 scholarships, they got they got a freshman linebacker to start for them this last year. This is really good. He's about 6'3", about 235. White dogs, DPS, what's that? What does that say? Well, that means drop. But I don't think that's, I don't. Is that la the linebacker that had the back on the previous play, Gary? He, uh, the back blocked your blitzing dog backer, so he became part of the blitz here. Well, he'll blitz and gauge. He'll go to him. He'll go to his guy. He just saw that he blocked the other backer, so he might as well go right. Yeah. <clears throat> what we try to do is not allow him to pick somebody else up. Yeah. Now, on your wide dogs or tight dogs or any of that, any of the unbalanced stuff, tight end over or tackle over, doesn't present a problem. No, because if we just won't call a formation blitz where the wide and short will be part of it. It would present more of a problem if you were in T or split. Flip. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One one more time, please. Corner showed too early at the top. This one did. Lucky didn't stand up and run corner out. That's what I'd done. Not good by the linebacker. What's he doing? It's an A gap. He should be right here. Looks like he's blitzing almost. Yeah, he has the back. He's got the tail back, right? Correct.
corner needs to keep man on. I see Gooden back in. The free safety had to help, and free safety has the fullback. Could have helped us on the quarterback spread out. We get two five spit outside, and the quarterback ends up coming underneath. Let's see from the end zone view. You guys get pretty good crowds there, here? Mm, not the way it should be. Is it getting better? 26. Is what you average? 26, which is a lot better. When we got when we got there, they were only averaging like. 3,000 season ticket holders. I think we're up to 14,000, 13 or 14,000. Problem is, we just can't get the numbers. But I think if we could start out early, we'd have a chance. Okay, here you got one back. <clears throat> you got wide dogs. You end up against North Texas here. They end up running the option. And again, you always build in the blitz, you build in option responsibilities. Because they had a they had a uh, tight end slot, you can see here, weak safety because it's one back. He has him right here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is Darrell Ray's team? Yeah. your dogs again that safety can read out if it's flow away I mean the uh, inside linebacker him yeah well not in dogs okay. he's got the bag when, when he was watch. wrapping around the C gap he could do it like when he's gonna cross a couple people but he's not gonna do it when he's just we're just gap controlling because okay, that's true so it was only when that's we when that tackle with that end was coming down he was wrapping clear around like an oaky stone would be inside because now he's going, so he's going two gaps out. We don't, we allow him to come back because there's people crossing. Like this, he can't. Now, what he's, we'd like for him to do is step back in down here and pin would make a hell of a lot more sense. Again, here they tried to run smoke draw, and that's one of the reasons why. TCU has had trouble with it. It's hard to run it into eight-man fronts. And I think the quarterback's a little bit shook. <clears throat> Field G Army, four man slant because of option. Field G Army, wide dogs, wide dogs B. If that tech, tack, the offense tackle steps down, the B gap is closed. Just tell them to go around the outside shoulder, huh? Well, just, yeah. Find, find a window. Biggest thing, we, we have no help. You better get going. <clears throat> Bad blitz. What, you know, what should have happened here? You got he should, a have came, should have came from a five. He should have, the linebackers fall here, though. Well, I'm talking about the tackle blocking out. Now you're he shaking. should come underneath it. Right. You got a fire call here or not? Well, he should have. It would have helped this situation. Without looking at this thing, silver's on most of these. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're not running option. That's a good play. 
linebacker's job here. He loses sight of his back, so he starts going to flow. Bow runs back here. Backside, the backside safety that has man is hanging. Ends up helping us here. We had a guy strike the ball that should have been wide ass open. So let's look at this a second. Just I mean, this is not nickel. Dime. You got a free two backers, three down. You got a free here, so obviously. So We're in our, this in our dime. Okay. We got wide dogs called, so the other S strong safety comes over because this way we normally line up to zone alignment. He came over, and the inside guy runs the dogs, so we're in zero free here. Okay, so starting here at the bottom, you got the corner. Strong safety, strong safety, free, weak, and corner. Okay. <clears throat> no silvers in this game because Tulsa runs speed option. So normally, this end. Flare, flare, flare. Yeah. On the crack. It helped out on the crack. Nice job of disguise. Again, they put formation in the boundary. They're in a lot of trouble here. She cheated over here. It should be about a two yard gain if he'd stay where he needs to be. Scoop and score. You can see this just goes from the last game of the season all the way to the first to all of our dogs, all the white dogs. This is what probably makes us the best. Ball's thrown. Run. This guy, your smoke part of it, is this a little bit wider than you'd like for him to be? Well, it's, he's, you know, it's, it's a yes and no, yeah. The hardest part here, hardest part here is if he goes too soon, it's, it's, he gets a check. If he doesn't hear a check, he ought to keep cheating more so he doesn't, so you got a better chance of getting well, there. So, I mean, really, this isn't any, I mean, in basic concept, this is like Louis Fireman, yeah. right? Yeah. Here's Fresno. They got pretty good players, don't they? Yes, they do. And they're getting better. See, they got a uh, who's there? They got a coach. Uh, Pat Hill. That's for sure. They got a they got a, yeah, see the Pac Ten a year ago, two years ago, went to where you, each Pac Ten school could only take one prop. So where all of them go? San Diego State and Fresno now. Fresno has a program that they can get a guy in and go to school all year and he get full pelt because he's a learning disabled. So they don't, they're not on scholarship, but they have everything paid for. And then after the first year, like they're number 34, they want to tell that. So they got about, every, they take about eight to 10 prop you know kids. What else they can do? They can bring them in during the summer. That's exactly they can bring around that. Guys. They can bring a, a senior high school guy that got them there all summer long. And pay for it. What's that same deal as a Pell Grant uh -huh. So it's all these things. So they got all kinds of guys running around there. Yeah. They're a marshal all the way. Yeah. Huh. Marshal set in California. Here.
Here is Arkansas State. Have you talked to your boy lately? Nice job here. Disguising uh, uh, Disguise him is a great job of stripping. One of the deals we do in our strip where the second guy, you know, you get it. And What's Willie? Is that the drill I talked about up there, Willie? What do you call it? Strip drill. You mean the angle thing? Angle thing. Went across the... Oh, yeah. One of the things we got from the Broncos two years ago uh, was the second guy in comes in and pulls the elbow out and, and knocks the hand down. Oh. So it's like oh. this. I tell you what, that's that's an amazing deal, man. You can't believe how many times the ball just falls around. Okay, now we always, we've always talked about elbow up. Yeah. But what's the second part? Elbow up and, and pull the arm down so you feel like the guy feels like he's getting his arm broke. You don't even touch the ball. It's elbow first, so it come in and go oh, boom. Yeah, oh, I can hurt you, dude. Yeah, I don't even feel it. Though. Yeah, it's, they have no choice. Now they that second guy in. That's especially an inside play. That's. Anyway, kind of getting the concept of the dogs. This guy should have made the play here. Now they didn't get a banjo here because the backs are set weak, so here's the weak safety and the free safety has the tight end. Yeah, they got to come to our house this year. And I tell you what, it was not an easy trip because I tell you, they had played Memphis, Mississippi, and somebody else. And I mean, all three games before we played them, they got beat by about three points. And they had Mississippi down 21. To, they had Mississippi down 21 to seven. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> and we're one and two. Actually, we're 0 and two going to their place. Actually, we traded it for Idaho. <laughs> Memphis. Yeah. We had some bad road trips last year. Fresno, Hawaii, Arkansas State. Arkansas State, we got back at three. Fresno, we got back at four. Never got back in Hawaii. But the lucky thing is that we had some smart people that changed it. We, we were supposed to play SMU after play to Hawaii, and they moved it to a day after Thanksgiving, so we had an off week. Yeah. Boy, was that nice. What was this? Uh, 21 nothing. Our safety on this one with the boot. It looked like he may have peeked in the back of the back. It looked like he closed his quick though. Well, this one? Yeah. Yeah. They were a physical team early as we played. This guy's a redshirt freshman running back. He's about 6'2", 230 pounds, and he outran a 4-4 free safety on an ISO. Here's uh, zone fire. Here's with a three strong drop. So we're zoning it, rolling the three here. Coming on a blitz, or he's just reading. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, uh -huh. he's he's a blitz. Wide dogs. What the, here here was here was was going to tell you, Chuck. Here's a three strong drop with a field wide dogs army stepping outside, and then he's the drop guy. We're rolling the three strong. Here's the free safety rolling up the flat. He's going to get through the middle. What's that, Jim? For us, thirty. Uh, this is what that's why I know we're front wise. Almost like a stroke for us, Jeff. That's why we don't get a lot of 20 personnel where we have they give us two split insides, even our offense, because you're setting yourself up for a whole bunch of people coming off the edge. 
short edge as far as the run game is concerned. Yeah, I've known some people that as soon as they get 20, they're going to double smoke. Yeah. I mean, right now. Now, see, why we, we've really gone, I haven't run a lot of double smoke in the last four or five years is because of cutback. Uh, getting it Against 20 or just run double smoke? Just double smoking. Well, so you, got, you got a million double smokes on this freaking... Oh, we do, but... You won't. There, you don't have. You won't have a hundred. There's a hundred fourteen just wide dog. I mean, you know, dog wise. Which we could look at the smoke ride. And you, you watched this morning. There wasn't hundred fourteen reps of smokes, was there? Double smokes. Well, right. you didn't watch the smokes. You just watched bullets this morning, did you? No, I didn't. I, don't know. I didn't watch bullets or smoke. Oh, I thought you said you watched one of the bullets. Well, you have a bullets or a smoke one. Yeah, we got a bullets one because you're you're gonna pick it up. You did, you gave it to him to copy. Okay. Yeah, what I was watching was, uh, I was watching your, uh, not in here right now. That's okay, let's look at that. So really, we only saw wide dogs, we never saw short dogs or, no. but a dog's a dog. Same dog's a dog. A dog's a dog. Did you rewind that one? Yes, sir. You're only good. Uh, Sworn to secrecy. Coach, you know, my cut-ups going out. I'm letting them copy it. I just say that you want to get me, just tell Fran I let them copy the cut-ups. Yeah. He, he kicked my ass. Is that all spring break this week? What are you going to do when you go back? Uh, play with the boys. We're probably going to go to Kansas for two or three days. Kansas? See Rosa. Josh. Go see Josh. Rosa? Yeah. Hang around, play around. Go back, maybe even actually play some golf. I doubt it. This Fran doesn't allow anything left in our office. You were going to do a play, if you were going to do a playbook, and I kind of got it set up like, you know, that instead of all the different lines going across, you know, if Z went across, what the check would be, you know, if the back went that way, what the check would be, that trade, tap, et cetera. That's, I'm, I'm thinking maybe you almost need something on one side and something on the other side. Yeah. Because, um. for example, if you got this right here, say, say the call at the top was 2-5 uh, solo. Okay, so we call that fly motion. Okay, so fly would be check solo. check solo. Right. Counter fly would be blue. Or were you in five? Yeah, say we were in two, uh, two blue sky solo. Or two blue, yeah, it could be blue, blue could be bronco. Okay, so originally we're in sky, yeah. Could be in sky, so you could go back to blue or bronco. Tap motion, we'd go read, we'd go check, check two, right. read right. right. Yeah. Okay, so maybe this will work. Is there any particular reason why you don't do a notebook? Secrecy is one of the <laughs> other interesting things they do is they don't, he doesn't script anything. Offense scripts, but he doesn't script. Only time I ever script is if they'll give me personnel. We get the personnel script, every time. The scrimmages, they won't. Yeah, they we don't, we don't script, script, script either. But during the week, during practice. Uh, we we work, work against if. It will work against them sometimes. If not, if they won't give me personnel, then I just call it. No, but what are you doing? You're just your regular. Like Pascale, don't ever, I've never scripted Pascale in 10 years. Scout Skelly? Scout Skelly, I do. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Scout, Scout Skelly, anything Scout that we're working for Scouts out. But against our offense, I don't script. I just, because like if they come out pro, I know I want to play pro type, you know, 21 personnel, they come out and one back, we're going to hear more solo calls, special calls, all that kind of stuff. Let's just put one of these in here before you go to, uh, put this in here, I was watching this this morning, practice number three, yeah, practice number three, just so these guys can get an idea of what the half, the half line stuff looks like. Sure. Tell me, y'all. Yeah. So you can see all of us, we've got a, our GAs throwing the brow. You're getting a China call. Here's your China call by the strong safety. Running the, the hitch and with the corner. You can't see the corner sinking. Sure. Okay. But 
Dennis likes half line for his option, doesn't he? Yeah. So good. you're matched up with the offense when you want to do this with yeah. each other, is that right? Yeah. Doesn't need to let him out, that's correct. You can see here, if he, he needs to make sure the guy can't get outside leverage, always in cover five, and see how the free safety is looking to one right now. Is that Craig Wynn over there on the sideline? He's a decoy. I'm asking you. <laughs> you remember who Craig Wynn was? Yeah. No, it's not. He's in Detroit. Is he really? He's come over to see us once. That's all about you. Yeah, with the sun guys on. How about Lenny now, Meredith? Where is he these days, Gary? Uh, yeah. Kansas City. He's getting an end call. So see how the strong safety's eyes get to it. This run, we don't run vertical. It's a lot easier to do this. Would you want your corner to be squeezing one, checking three? Not, not five. Okay. Now blue, two. He's mm -hmm. got man clue principles. He drag, dig back to it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Gary, but your five coverage is, is, like, is two read, right? I mean, yeah. Cover, cover two, and you're reading for, you're either going to be in a quarters look or you're going to be in the... Well, we're hitting him in the mouth, though. You know, cover five is, is we'll try to start a squat, but unless time number two is the outside, we're going to keep sinking with number one. Okay, say that again now. We're going we're gonna to try to hit you in the mouth. Okay. It just the difference is a lot of play, people play cover five. That guy will never sink deep. Where we actually are going to sink with number one unless number two comes to outside. Time on that, huh? We might want to spend a little time on that because I like that, the idea if you can hit them and still do it. Well, here's the whole thing. We started when we taught us is in New Mexico. We, we might have to hold the ball for six seconds. We couldn't get a pass for us with a poor man. So I wasn't going to live with playing squats and halves and only have two guys deep. We were going to sink with them. That meant we had to give up the out a little bit. If it happened deeper down the field, then I was going to live with it. But I'm not, I'm not going to live with vertical touchdowns. This is the one thing we, don't, we play the worst. Five? Yeah. Our outside guys. See, he should have shut his feet down, and he did. And then he needs to be driving on this as soon as the ball's thrown. Again, that goes back to when we're playing a half, if you don't send two guys vertical, we're not playing deep. And we're going to start, we're going to start sitting down in zones and, and yeah. where our reads tell us to go. Even with your half guy, you're saying. Yep. You're I mean, that's pretty damn slow. Now here, see, you get him, you get that, you get him, and see, even even in half, number two runs now, the corner's getting a wheel call. So every so time number two, two blue and five, the free safety is giving a wheel, and the weeks are giving wheel calls to the corner if you get an outside route. So everything's, the corner's always hearing what number two does all the time if he comes outside, so you know he's threatened. How many guys numbers wise do you have after spring practice? We got 104. We got 104. I mean, you'd be surprised how many kids, how many kids walk on, pay $25,000 to come walk out and play football. Run that back, man. You, you just got a, you got a little, you got two, two verticals here, but you really only got one That's vertical bad. player. And he's bad. Which one? This one's bad and he's bad. Okay. Worse Number one I don't like, this one I don't like. They don't understand, don't let them knock your shoulder down. If he just keeps himself squares and makes the guy go around him, you got you give yourself a better chance. Our our corners just don't are not. They're just not very physical. About as easy as I can say it. Run that one back. I think the brother, brotherhood in that deal. Now see, the nice part about this drill is that I get it bound, and I'm looking on this side, and I hear all the calls I need to hear. I, I should have heard a wheel. I need to hear a wheel call. I need to hear a china call if that guy would sit down. Here's a China call by the safety running into the quick. Corner six. Linebacker runs with number three vertical. Mm -hmm. So we always put the back in there. So even if he blocks that way, then the guy will open and drop straight back. Now, how is, how is your, uh, your own players knowing what routes to run? 
because I got managers back here with half zone cards. Okay. One manager over here, one manager over there. They were running two in blue cards, which you know they're softer zones. I got certain routes that hurt them. Then when we're playing, we were going to teach cover five that day. They've got cover five in those folders, and they pull out the cover five cards. And they're out of stock file. Yeah. And then when we get into game week, what will happen is, if you know, however they do it, we'll run routes to hurt you, but then we'll also run routes to overflow what they do all the time. So if they're a big hitching corner team, there might be more of an emphasis on hitching corner within the half zone routes. Do we still have our books with those? Uh, you know, what's, uh, has it. Yeah, we do the same thing. We have half line stuff, combination routes going up on both sides, third corner, curl flat. Bigger corner, a lot more physical. You can see he has more of a jam. China Cole. China, better get there. It'd be hard for him to ever get to that. Wheel turns half into robber. See how when number two runs now? Mm -hmm. He just opens up like he does a robber. Swing deep to two by the corner. Again, going back to the principle of should have came back to football. Going back to the principle of teaching pass like the run, which I don't think a lot of people do sometimes. Now again, here, what you talk about that? So then, well, you know, forever since I've grown up, you know, you went, you went from individual one-on-one -on -one run reads, you know, a defensive lineman versus a one-on-one -on -one base block, reach block, cutoff. Then you went to two-on-one. -on -one. Right. So then you, you know, learned how to cross fade, pull, cut, and all that. Then you went to half line or pod, even more than that, and then you went to middle drill, and then you went to team. Well, in pass, in pass, really, we never, any a lot of places I've ever been, or even ever talked to, pass, you come out, and you might do a half skilly, you know, you went from individual to pass skilly. You never ever took it to where you broke it down to where we might even be a three on two, we might just be doing half the corners and us working, talking routes. With just the safeties in the corners, linebacker's not even part of it to where we try to go from individual to our own little drills, to this half zone drill, to, to uh, pass skilly, to half line pass versus the option, then full skill against the option, and then team pass. A lot better job, a lot better job here, because he got him clear the sideline, he's allowed to open up the inside, Funny because you say it like that. I don't know of anybody who's never not and never not done that. Yeah, me neither. Really? Oh yeah. I mean, as a secondary coach, that's what you do. Yeah. You do your individuals, well, well, and you do your. Oh yeah, you have been. Here, here's and then you do your combination mm -hmm. half stuff, and then you go to your. <clears throat> See, well, I can I guess I've never, I've never been any place where it became, it became such a communication thing on a half side of the field where you heard all the talking. I don't ever remember doing the Kansas State. <clears throat> doing. This half line stuff, half half skelly. Well, I don't know if we ever did it against the offense half skelly, but we always were combination yeah, sides. That was a long time ago. I do that. Yeah. Stuff. I just don't remember as an outside <laughs> linebacker ever working with the guys behind me doing it. I'm sure as a skelly you did, but I'm saying where you you, you put it together that way. Working all the routes, combinations. As a secondary coach, I've always done it. And you can hear two disappears, just like Robert, if he doesn't think he's coming up, he looks to one, which is the same thing he would do in blue. That should have thrown us. Why don't you uh, fast forward this, Gary, just to, so they get yeah. the idea for the next drill. Gotcha. We started doing all the zones, but uh, I watched all those this morning, and I'll tell you this. Um, yeah, they come well, I'm interested. I'm practice, interested. I would have been interested to see that. that yeah, I, don't, I was looking for. It. I was. That was yeah, the one. I because you wide. saw robber coverage versus four wides. Because uh, it was the first day they just put in robber as a single call, yeah. and I wanted to see what that looked like. Second day you were working blue, a whole bunch of blue. Because that's and this day was five. Yeah. And then once you've got that in, once you've got two five and blue in, then you've got your you've got your combinations. Yeah. Then you then nine you just combinations. Comes. Then every day, safety and corner coach, we work. That's what we work every day. Plus man. OK, 
Okay, here's Oklahoma. And that's not a take them to the ground drill, right? No, here, so. and they're supposed to stay within the cones, but that don't ever happen either. So this is a, is this early in practice? Yeah, this is about, uh, well, practice nine or 10. Because we've already done individual, this is going to happen after we period already nine or 10, you mean? Huh? Period nine or 10? Because we go five periods. Yeah, I, you said practice nine or no, 10. No, no, period nine or 10. Well, I thought you did, but, okay. What is this, like a five minute period? Yes, it is. Five minutes, high reps, there's four or five lines. Here's, here's that, here's our three technique. It's a pretty good lock yeah. cool. Okay, I just wanted these guys to see. Yeah, come out. Then we have the linebackers are down here versus the tight ends. Uh huh. So it's really offensive line, tight ends, linebackers, defensive line. And then running backs running the ball for them. The yeah, and sometimes the running backs are somewhere else they'll put linemen back there. But our guys don't really like that because those guys don't have any timing to it at all. Jim, on some of this yeah. tape, they got a thing painted on their field. You've probably seen before. The hoops? No, yeah, I guess it's hoops. They got like oh, the thing the Steelers had. Five boxes, I guess, like that. Yeah. And then each one of them has a a shoe yeah. like out of it. Yeah, we had that. Yeah, we brought it back from Steelers. It might be yeah. something you might want to get them to put on the ground out there for you. You know, come up with a schematic. But also, you know what else he does watching that defensive line tape this morning? That's where he does a lot of his stunts, you know, because it's instead of having trash cans, he's got the blocks Bad on the ground. Three. Two to pull across. Okay, now what is this here? This, we call this half line, half line run. Half line run. Now, who's all there? Because I don't think the secondary is there originally. No, no. We'll, we'll come. A strong safety will sometimes come and play hip in blue like he's a blue player like versus the pro set. Uh -huh. Most time it's always, you can see it's going to be five on three or whatever it's going to be here. And then there's another one going on right over here. This is the way side. Yeah, I saw that. Eagle side, 50 side. Right. Okay. And they'll get, each group will get about six or seven plays in five minutes. Okay. And then the next day do you switch sides? Yeah, then we'll put it on the other side, the three technique on the other side. The thing I don't, myself, defensively, I don't like I, to make the bet drill better. They spend most of their time, all it is is a fit by D-lineman, because most of the time they fit in the inside zone, everything cuts out the back end. Uh -huh. You don't ever, you can't train this lineman to cross that much face because he's got to fit A-gap if he doesn't. Right. Now you get him late once the ball goes back across. If I would like, if you want to make me perfect, I would like him to start the zone this way, and everybody's zone step, and then cut back even though they're saying, doesn't because that's where we have the most trouble with the inside zone is when they cut it back with the three technique, not at not at the G. Are you 67 getting cut off? And... Okay, go ahead and, 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 and uh, run this baby through here and let's see what the next drill is. Yeah. Well, just, see now you got a safety there. Yeah, I, we got what happened was this lasted. I, I had my safeties do one-on-one -on -one blocking versus the wide receivers. So the strong safeties were first in the line. And then when I got done, they all stayed. And I brought the strong safeties down here to get some fold-over reps. That's the old way side there. This is Aaron Spalding, fully himself out of the C-gap. See, this is a, it's not a real productive drill because every when there used to be, they never had a tight end on the 50 side, so we could work five technique. Yeah. But really, if they're going to have it here, you should always have a safety because it's, but anyway. you got seven against three right now. Yeah. Which, if you go into the deal that we're going to make practice harder than our games, I guess that's, it fits that. Okay, now you got a safety in there. Yep. And you got your one-on-one -on -one stuff here. One-on-one, -on -one, going both sides. You're not down there for that. I'm at this, yes. You're at this. Oh, that's right, because you do it at a different time. And it, now, we just saw your your uh, half line run. Do you do a full middle drill? It's in a second. Okay. How many campers you have over here? Uh, four. I thought you 
new new building going up down there? Or? Yeah, that's the new going to be the new uh, football office. It'll be done when? July fifteenth. What they're saying. The whole wall and everything's done now. They've got all the brick on the outside. Oh, somebody's doing push-ups. Yep, if they drop a ball or we drop a ball, everybody's doing push-ups. Everybody? No fumbles, no drop balls. Uh, wide receivers, running backs, DBs, if you don't catch a ball. Okay, so if I drop an interception, all the DBs do push-ups? No, that oh, guy's doing them. Okay. Depends how pissed you are, from 20 to 50. Uh-huh. What are you telling, tell Gary what, uh, there's what I was talking about, Jim, the, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hanukkah candle. So, Gary, what you tell me about what Dennis does if a guy oh, fumbles? Oh, the running ball. backs? Yeah. So if he gets real pissed at him, he'll take and everybody else will be scrimmaging and doing everything. He takes a running back and starts throwing, makes him go the length of the field, tossing on the ball and jumping on it. <laughs> they don't like that very well. Dennis has always been <clears> tough <throat> on that. He's always been tough on fumbles. Yeah. How many fumbles you have this year, Gary? It's I don't. Well, they only had we had nine. He had uh, 19 or 18 turnovers overall because we were plus four. A year ago, a year ago, the tailback only fumbled one time. The quarterbacks fumbled like eight. Uh -huh. This year, tailback I think had four. All right. So this is your middle drill now, right? Yeah. This is. We got three of them going on at one time. This is ones. This is ones versus ones. At the same time, twos or twos are down here on this other field, and threes are over here on another field. Okay, so you're at one linebacker. No, actually, I'm at none of them. Uh, right now, it's D line coach is here, the linebacker coach is at the other one, and my GA is coaching the threes. Okay. And then I am able to walk to all three of them and watch. Is this scripted? Yeah, we just play tight G. They script, but we just play tight. We don't play, we're going to play six in the box. We're going to make it as hard as we can on us defensively. Tight G. That's it. Well, cover twice. Oh, I just make them play cover two, just okay. play sky, and they can't be part of the, uh, they can't make any tackles. All I want them to do is fit. All right, so, oh, this is against 22 personnel right here. Yes. All right, so this is a reading, reading left. It's as hard as you can be defensively because there's eight blockers on six on the inside running game. Well, you can let that tight end back there. You keep, it, but are you treated like it's a Front side of pro each side? Are you three by seven there on both sides? Yeah, because that's what it is when you're a robber across the board, three by seven. Because we're just treating it like, I tell them to not be part of the drill, so they treat it like it's a one back and there's a wide out to each side. If this was a true, if this was a real world, this guy, if it was flanker, was over here, this guy could be right three here. Three three. But if I put him there. And those guys are whiz. Whoops, what is it? Why whiz? I mean, they don't touch them. Yeah, all they do is fit. They're going to fit up to them, but they're not going to they're not going to thud them, or I'll end up losing them. I won't get a chance to bring them in this group. Okay, so run that back a second. Just run that back a second. Twenty nine out here to left safety. That's our strong. Oh, you're watching here. This is a fit up. Watch, just watch him. No. And, and if he does, and he does so that about one more time, him. yeah. Okay. You, That's the same. We really don't even want him to touch him. Well, our whole thing is we don't we don't want anybody on the ground. Yeah, He's sitting here yelling right now. There's offensive lineman on the ground, defensive lineman on the ground. You better keep, athletes stay up. Yeah, we're doing the same thing. You go visit the pros, they do the same thing. Screaming, yelling. Now this is a nice bowl. Like oh, this. Oh, guy's cutting. You guys are allowed to cut each other. They are allowed to cut. Uh -huh. okay. So anyway, go ahead to your next drill. See what we got going on. What are the corners doing right now? They're over in another field. They're, <coughs> they're uh, on... doing whatever they do. Sometimes they're just doing releases. Sometimes they're stock blocking. Press, bump, and run. Yeah, they're doing working all the time. Now here's the twos. I'm just proud, we've got the scrimmage, so we can watch. This happened to be a 22 day. No, that whatever. That, see here, they're they're here, they're in 12. Oh, okay. Good practice fields. I got three. Uh, one and a half, coach. Right now, until they move the baseball field, then we'll have two fulls.
That's a redshirt freshman linebacker. So really good. Tower farmers, is it, is it a lift? No, it's a lift. All of them are, are lifts. So we can move them so if they start wearing out a part of the field, we can. Threes. Okay. Is this a five minute period? Or yeah. Minutes? No, this is a five minute okay. period. They're all going on at the same time. So how many plays you get in five minutes? Yeah, I think they try to get six reps. Six. Okay, so, so that's a total of what, 18? So we get 18. 18 in five minutes. And what do we get, Jim? We get uh, 18 in 10 minutes? No. What do we get? Maybe 14. Yeah, 14. 14. Okay, that's right. When we go to 10 Not minutes, it's 8 and 8. We get 16 in 10 minutes. Because by practice uh, three, we really quit doing half scaling against the offense, so this just went right to full scaling. We get 16 plays with one drill. They're getting a total of 18 plays with three drills. Here's roll, five. Nice job, Gary. Roll, five. Okay. Because you didn't have a solo or yes, a exactly. Bronco call on the backside. Today is five. Special or anything. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Check roll of trips. And the other reason is if they get too tight of splits, sometimes they'll do that anyway because you don't they're picking you and doing everything else. Well, it's a tough route, yeah. Yeah, that's one of those things they've been working on, whether uh, sit the guy down. Yeah. Solo yeah, helps you on. Guys, one or the extra BB getting ready to go. That's these up here, uh, kickers. Kickers. Kickers, punters, and they have to take a step up and put their hands up. Is anyone keeping time on the quarterback? You know, how man long free here, huh? Is anyone? They got a buzzer back here. They? Oh. Yeah. They will you use it. Well, no. They just, it's just so they know. Here's a five solo call. We don't usually have that problem because our guys scroll on timing so much. It's every once in a while, but they'll be using pull it down. Here's a here's a wall. Nice wall. I mean, he's, he's a keeper in the zone. You can't let that guy cross. Yeah, because we were in solo back there right. that time. Anyway, you want to keep watching this? Or you want to go on? Go on. Okay. I mean, then we probably ought to go to this two combo tape. Okay. Because you don't have any more. I mean, next thing you're going to have a scrimmage or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. You want to go ahead? You can see the scrimmage. Yeah, because that's. Oh, you want to see that? Or you want to? Well, yeah, the scrimmage on this one right here. Scrimmage, or you want to see two combo? I don't know. We can watch both. Now there's one going to uh, BYU because mm -hmm. I I saw him. Uh, he's a friend of uh, one of our kids that he came to the scrimmage. Mm -hmm. okay, let's go ahead and get through. We started with ten minutes of Pascal here. Skelly, are you thudding him? Uh, it, no. Only when the, if we get there at the same time the ball does, and it's live the ball. Besides oh, that, you just touch off with your hands? Yeah. Now, Gary, once you get into scrimmage or team plays, how do you guys teach run to the ball? Do you have a double whistle system? Do you just. A team? Yeah. Like in scrimmage? Yeah, more so team. Uh, team we, yeah, it's. It, we don't have a double whistle. When we get in a thud, it's just like tackle. The first guy gets to him. I mean, if you're trying to wrap up. We 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 grade LOEs meaning lows. Okay. Do your kids help you with pursuit? I mean, they own yeah. each other pretty good. Yeah. Well, and the the part is, is they don't want to run an eight by eight by eight because that's what they're going to have to do if they get caught low. And there's eight by eight by eight. That's six o'clock in the morning. That's eight sets of stadiums, eight hundred yards of up downs, and uh, going every ten yards and hitting your stomach in eight laps. It's like missing a class. And that would be if they loafed in a team drill. Anything. Okay, now just out of curiosity, well, I don't want to say it. You want to hit it? No. Okay, first call. First call we're going to start off here is split G Army, bullets A, B. And we were playing, we were playing zero fiddle, 
press. We got a fiddle on the backside on the tight end. Bullets A B split G army. Now what made you make that call? No reason. I wanted to blitz, and that's the only thing that he, he won't let me bring smokes. I don't really like it versus. <laughs> I think it kind of shocked him too because. Uh, him being the quarterback or, or Fran? Him. Well, no. If, if it shocked Fran, I would have got one of these. Was that this? Or was it this? <laughs> it could be either. No, I, I shouldn't paint him that way. He, I mean, he really, he doesn't. Us on defense, I mean, the only time he's ever over there, we don't stop him, and that's what he should be doing. I mean, he really pretty much, one of the things he's able to do because he's able to run. This is your first scrimmage, so. Yeah, so we didn't tackle very well. <clears throat> but, I mean, what's your situation? Is it all first down? All first down. We're, we're not going to move the football. All we want to do is get good film. Okay. And so one of the things I'm going to do, and I actually kind of did it for you guys too, is I want to make a lot of different calls so that you can see a lot of different situations. Now, we've, got, we've called a power call, but you didn't know it at the top. The call is type G, and I called power, and we're playing blue, Bronco. Okay. okay? Now, the problem was, and this was a poor job on my part, we are starting where we are going to read blue, like I was telling you, we are going to read the fullback. Okay. If he arced, the strong safety is going to run the pitch to the free. Well, the problem is what I forgot and neglected, him, even in my own mind, that when, though if you play blue and we play a power call, power automatically tells him he's a what? Quarterback player. So the problem was the free safety was waiting for him to go to pitch, never did, then all of a sudden it was arc option and he's, he gets cut because he doesn't get around it because he's waiting too long. And that's what's going to happen here. But this whole scrimmage is first and ten every First play. and ten every play. And then do you, what, what, how soon down the line do you progress to you can see here, they know they better run the football. This guy here will be in trouble the one's laying back down here. Yep. Your next scrimmage, Gary, do you do what? Then, we will, then what we'll do is we'll go, uh, we'll go six play sets, and we will, we will move the chains. Along with that one, we'll also at some point in time, we'll go down and goal line. So it's every down? Every down. So if we stop them in three downs, they're going to move the chains back and start right. over again. If they, if they get a first down, they're going to move. How many play sets is this one? Six. Six. So they just had a long run, but the ball comes back. Ball comes back. Because okay. really, the first scrimmage, all we want is teaching film. Okay. We want we want to get it in a situation where we can get the best end zone <coughs> and the best sideline to teach our now kids. Against your offense, do you view first and ten as run set? Uh, you, yeah. In fact, th I will tell you this: this was the first this is the first scrimmage in in four years that it wasn't a bloodletting. Usually he, he doesn't hardly throw the football at all in it. And this one, we dislocated the full, starting fullback shoulder in this first series. Mm -hmm. we, we knocked out the starting guard, dislocated his knee in the second series. We lost another tackle on his shoulder, and we lost a wide receiver uh, dealing pretty much then it became an aerial game. But the guy, the problem here is Coach Patterson because, now here's the nice thing, you know, you sent a five and a nine, See, that safety kept walking. He said power, but see, he keeps walking back, so you don't know what he's going to do. The quarterback's not used to looking at. I'm telling you, this is exactly what you got to do. Gary remembers this well. When we played Tulsa, Gary, and they were a speed option team, and we were taking that nine technique and taking the quarterback, and that was Mike Kopsky standing back there, and it happened to him about four or five times. Cut, and about got my ass fired. Well, here's the other thing about this is, and I went and visited with Houston, and I, I can't remember the guy's name. He was a friend of Bumps. He almost went to Wake Forest or Al's. Yeah, Elon. Yeah. Anyway, because Houston had you know run the quarter stuff so much, they said that nine technique. If that tight end arcs or that fullback arcs, he got to get his ass to the pitch. And let your safety fill up inside, and then. Well, it's going to work well because we've read it. The problem, the thing I, I still pissed off with him, is he hesitates here. Mm -hmm. If he would have ran the sideline, this right. would have got cut back, right. and we make the play. So he thought with the arc initially he had quarterback. Yeah, he thought he had quarterback, and that was not true because of the power call. Okay, call. It's tight, G. Tim. 
Zero fiddle press. Since it came out and we got a fiddle at the top, we're a man at the bottom. Charlie needs to be a little bit tighter. He's trying to get away his own look. Safety. How much tighter? Mm, maybe a yard and a half, not much. He just needs to so move you're up. Off man, you want to be how far? Seven? Usually, usually seven. off man of safeties, we want to be no more than five yards off the man. But what he's trying is to do he is. Is out of there fast? No, we slow back pedal. We want him to break our cushion right now. You know you got no deep help or anything. Well, more bad things helping and happen in deep help when you get out fast because you give them a two way go on an inside guy. Mm -hmm. We'd we'd rather go slow and make him get on one side of us so that we can we can play one way or the other. Okay. This guy's gonna be really good. Yeah. From DeSoto. The yeah. big kid. Huh? <coughs> Up to, is he the six real big two, kid? Six two, six two and a half. Oh. The other one's six four. The other kid. Now see here, we're playing slide to the offset tight end here. Call it a split G slide, two blue flip Broncos. So we are playing, <coughs> we are playing slide. We safety said slide, and we are playing Bronco, which we're playing it from a press and two reading right. Okay, who's got the first pack out week? Out week he does. Weak slate. Weak slate. How about if you had to put a slide on it and you'd call it Bronco? <coughs> and you'd stay back in about eight yards, three by ten, three by eight off the tight end, off the end guy in the line of scrimmage right over here. He'd be back here. This guy would be. He'd be here and well he'd actually still be there and this guy and he'd would have, be. And he'd have two week then, right? Yeah. Jim, have you been able to notice a difference in the, what they do with their seven techniques? Film we watch it. I mean, they're more off the field for sure. I mean, you can see it. Yeah. No doubt. Take it off. Here is tight, tight take blast, bullets mo stinger. You saw it on the deal. So, tight take blast mo. The linebacker's going to walk out. Could have come off and be a quarterback player. Sam's going to run through his gap, and we got a blast at the top. Now, what's this look like? It's like two five. Yep. Or maybe blue. Yeah, it could be blue down here. Either one of them. And if this guy wasn't moving at all, you would never know. Mm -hmm. But sometimes he probably does that and then goes back and plays five, right? Yep. <coughs> exactly. Now, see, this guy, this would have been a, this would have been a delay of game. Try to check and he said, stay with it. Where's Dennis right now? Uh, he's standing right somewhere in here. Oh, he's standing now. He's talking back here. This is where George got hurt, the fullback. We already heard him already. This guy did not have a good year last year, 18, the one you saw him <coughs> tackling. Boy, did he have a good scrimmage. He benched 425 the other day and will probably, I'll bet, in pro time every day running the 4-4s. Four That's your safety? Free. How big is he? Uh, probably 192 pounds, 5 inches. 425. What did you come into the program bench? Mm, 325. Maybe 340, somewhere in there. I'd have to look back at my notes because we keep all that stuff. Here you go. We got 25 solo. Let me see it again. We got a solo call. Read and write. We got a solo call with a bail call, so we're not we're not pressing the solo, we're bailing it. Right. And we're playing two over here with the solo call. Uh -huh. Did you put that in your call or didn't you? Yeah, I put it in the call. I'll you go solo again. bail. I'll go two five solo bail. Okay. So if solo is checked, that's the only time the corner's really gotta look and not tell him if he knows solo's checked and he's bailing it. Again, now, so they know when we're playing solo, they just can't stand up and throw the fade back there. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to deal with that. But solo is an automatic press. Yes, unless I tell them different. It's interesting because zero is not. Zero is off, right? Yes. It's almost like you could have said solo press. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could do it that way, too. And solo's off. 
Yes. We just say solo, solo by yourself, and then it's solo, solo press. press. That's solo press. Good point. I mean, I'm just. No, I know. I, I, I'm agreeing with you. The key here is mostly is predominantly we want to play. We want to play press out of solo. So that's so we why just, you, yeah. yeah. That's where you go look at it. Now this guy here's a walk on also. Trying to work double duty. 33s are starting strong safety because we lost Reggie Hunt. We're in the process of a. After every six play series, we kick a field goal. Okay, so you go ones against ones? All day. And then twos against twos. Now here's twos. And then threes against threes? Threes against threes. And then ones against ones. Ones against ones. So you ones we went 90 getting, some plays. So you ones get, end up getting 30, Summer, 30 some plays. Well, number 90 14 some. or 95, they got 10. Okay. They got 10 plays. That's all they got to play. And they got to stick. Franchise. Yeah, I don't know if you saw number five, the running back back here. The one that's up, for the, they're going to push uh, for the Heisman. He ain't not going to get one rep. When we get to scrimmages, he don't play. <laughs> now me, 95 can't handle it. He needs to play the whole scrimmage because he doesn't handle things like that. He, he doesn't know how to be then a good leader and talk him up and keep enthusiasm. He'll go stand by himself. So basically, you came out, ran a little, did you have a little individual and a little pass skill? A little individual, a little pass skill, and went right into it. Because you know what, I always... What we do right on so my whole thing used to we used to do special teams. I used to do special teams. And my biggest gripe was all defensive guys on special teams. If you want to do it, then let's do special teams at the end. But you know, you got guys running punt, kickoff, kickoff return. I mean, we used to we did it for years and it worked with it. The biggest thing was our kids were tired when they got to skill. I mean when they got to scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Now we have done it where we punt after every sixth play second stuff too. I think we kind of split it up. We do some special teams, then we scrimmage, and then we do come back, come back and do more special teams. Well, that's a good teams. idea, too. So, you're, so not you're not so much. What was the call then? Uh, the call is Two Blue Sky. Two sky. Corner needs to be inside. Two. Young corner, he needs to be inside. Two reading left, we've got a sky call on the backside. This is a new week safety. You consider not an oversport at the top, that's why he's so far inside up there. Uh, yes. And for whatever reason, he checked this. He checks this like he thinks we're blitzing. And we're not even coming. See, Fran's trying to tell him, see, Fran's trying to tell him to do something. And it's Got some kind of bullets coming. This is split G Army. So since there's two tight ends, it's a rip call because split is always going to be considered weak. Right. Split G Army, four man rotation going to the field, and then they're running A B, the linebackers are. And we're playing zero fiddle press here. You got bullets, right? Yes. Split G Army, bullets A B. Okay. So you've You've uh, wristbanded that in. Yeah. What G? In fact, Army. that is bullets number two. Bullets number two. Okay. Now, they've come up, and the first thing they've said is rip, rip, rip. Correct. Yep. Correct. Okay. That's all I got to say. That's it. Right. When Sam's running the B gap on the bullets, he's going to widen his, his alignment. Yeah. Just so he has leverage on that gap. Sometimes. So it, why? See, why would he? We do, We would do well. He does, he's too wide. To be honest. Okay. And especially with tight end, he needs to be more here. We have come for wider alignments against run because you, against zone teams, so you don't get two gap. Now, if it's pass, we'd rather it be more straight up and down, mm -hmm. so they screw up their protections. And you said zero fiddle press here. Is there a fiddle yeah. anywhere? We're fiddle right backs. here. Yeah, these guys are outside. Corner's got the backside man, and he's got the first guy to his side. Okay. Now I'm cheating here. That might as well be like a zone void. I might as well call two. Blue sky and just put this guy in cover two up here. But I, right. now I'm working some man. Each time I'm going to try to work some man and some zone with each group that comes on the field. Try to see if they'll blitz. Because you guys have been where you don't blitz, you start out with young guys and you call bullets and no, nobody runs through. Because they're trying to re see if they're going to do it or not. This is your twos or threes? This is our twos. But really, all our twos are a lot of redshirt freshmen. That guy's never played before. He's never played this position. Let's see. All the, both the ends, I think, are redshirt freshmen. 
No, that used to be a tight end. He's never played in before. He's a freshman. We're pretty young in our depth. That's the thing we're going to have to get better at. Here's go play action. We got two blue Bronco. And he checked into Scott because he had a backside and upside tight end. So it didn't really make any difference to him. The IVAC. That's always going to check Scott. Yeah, most of the time, unless it's guy offsets it this way, and then you There's no force problem back on the end, on the back side. I see these guys do a good job, but don't, don't go till you know. See, they hold until they see the last back, back. And I do that in our diamond drill, too, Chuck. Uh -huh. Where I'm up, you know, sometimes I do my long, long drops. So I actually, I got two guys. Dropping on each side, I will fake to the back, fake, make them hold. Sometimes give it to them, so they're gonna go run, 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 and they gotta turn it and get out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna You get a real wide split by Z down there, you don't want to be in blue. No. You want to be in Bronco. We'd been in trouble for doing that before in our lives. Now the problem here is we're back to three. Now we're down to threes. Is it there's a two receiver side? This should have been a sky call. The safety didn't because we had a guy not show up. For the scrimmage had to go to a five o'clock class. Weak safety should have skied a corner inside and free safety called a freeze call. What's your what's your full call here again now? Call full call is boundary G, two blue sky. Wide, two blue sky. Oh, so wide. Okay. So you read left, weak safety should have skied this. Okay, we four. I didn't hear you say wide. Because yeah. if you hadn't said wide, you'd read and write. That's correct. Freeze. So if the weak safety had been outside, you'd had no problem with this play. We end up with no force player out here. Nate hasn't even been on our end. Let's see here. Actually, you know, we're in cover two here. This is a grass field, right? Yes, sir. A nice grass field. So this guy's never played free safe. This is pretty good. In fact, he's going to be a really good player. He's what a, you playing here? What are you playing? Uh, we're playing cover two across the board. He's a little, is he a little wider than normal? Uh, probably look, just a little bit. Should be on the guard. He looks like he's between the guard. 